All right, so uh, the next one I'm showing you is the Alpine Butterfly. It's good to have a midline loop. Um, so what you want to do is you put the rope over your hand and you wrap it three times. And then what I do is I follow like from one end, I'll go from this side, put that one in the center, and then the next one, I'll go over both and put them in the wrap. And then I'll grab the long parts of the rope and tighten it up. So that's what the butterfly looks like. And this is the back of the butterfly. So after a load, if it's put on a heavy load and you use it, to break it, you push these two pieces out and it comes undone. That's one way to tie it. And another way to do it is to have a bite in your line. So what you do is you grab a bite like this and then you, you twist your line, you twist, and then you go through and then you bring it back through that center piece and you tighten it up and you you got the butterfly so that's what it looks like from the you know one side and then the other side and the same thing after you put it under a load then you break it this way so this knot's um, really good. Sometimes you can use it for a, a canopy anchor where you cinch a line and and then you climb off of a, you know, like maybe in a foot locking technique. Okay. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to do the wrap around your hand. All right. And then whenever you're ready. One, two, two. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Three. Four. Four there. Continue the same flow. Pull it through and then separate them. Pull it tight. That's good. And then you break it by pushing those two. Those two out. And then yeah. this one in. Push it through. Cool. So you're gonna try that one again? Yeah. Do the wraps around your hand. So one, two, two three. three. One. And then two. That one here. And then you can use that hand just to pull it through. And then snag it up. Cool. Now, see if you can attempt to do the one on a bite. That one's hard. In that room? Okay, cool. Get this one out of the way. Two twists. Uh huh. There we go. And just do those two under and right under. back in. There you go, perfect. And then you snug it up. And that's it. Good job, dude. Yeah. Do it again, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I for you know uh, I I always like the one where I wrap around my hand the most. Yeah. If oh, I have easiest. a stiff rope, I can do this one. I like the, the wrap, it's just so much easier for me. And then right back through. Perfect. And you got it, and then tighten it up by pulling the ends, like the long ropes. There you go. You got it. Yeah. That's it. Good job. Perfect. So yeah, that's a midline uh, loop, and it's good. Uh, you can put it under a load. If you go too tight, then it might get stuck, and you have to knife it out. So we just worked on the Alpine Butterfly. Um, it's a good midline loop knot. Um, when one that you can tie midline and it goes you can put it under pressure and it will come undone if you uh, pull the ears of it I suppose um, the next thing we're gonna work on is gonna be a Clem Heiss and an English Prusik the Alpine Butterfly works well with that so uh, a lot of times what you guys can do is you will tie an Alpine Butterfly and you'll cinch up you'll put the long end through the loop and you'll cinch it up so when we do the next one, it'll be the English Pressic and Clem Heiss, and I'll show you how to use it on this. All right, take care.